Jason Belmonte with uh, a lot on his mind despite waking up with a smile as he said Randy I got to imagine that you know those numbers don't lie and they don't go away. Well I mean you still got to get in the right frame of mind and it's hard not to let the failures in majors it's hard not to let that creep in. Belmonte's got to find a place mentally to where that doesn't happen. He's going against a guy that's making another ball change uh, who had probably the best look, and he's a pretty imposing figure. See him a lot. His runner-up finishes twice. And majors. A lot opening up with a mix a lot. Strikes a lot. Come on. That's all right. Take it. Take it and run, baby. The tournament leader owns five career PBA Tour titles from Orange, New South Wales, Australia, Belmo, Jason Belmonte. New Jersey, one of the great all-time bowling regions. The fans love their bowling. They know their bowling. They're appreciative of the immense skills that are brought quite often to their bowling center here. Opening his championship match against West Milan. I watched a lot of Jason Belmonte's bowling in competition yesterday, and he was using a very, a very aggressive piece of equipment going relatively straight for him, even with that extremely high rev rate. Not an easy pickup. They call it double wood, as I've come to learn here on tour. One pin stacked behind another. Uh-oh. He got it. And he's happy about it. Looks like he's, uh, looks like he's trying to get as comfortable as possible as quickly as possible. As you see, Jason Belmonte going undefeated in match play. He's not lost a single match, but those are three game matches. This is a one game match. Jason Belmonte still sporting that Usual look, the facial fescue looks like it's, it's cut down just a little bit for today's telecast. Two-handed style and delivery of the most powerful man on the tour. Jason solves that left lane early. He noticed that he did make lot start on that left lane, and we've talked about it the last couple of matches. The left lane is... Definitely suspect, and Jason Belmonte is the higher seed, so he gets choice of starting lane, and he put Malott right back on that left lane. We will have a brand new PBA major champion at the end of this match. Neither of these pros have yet won a major in their career. Ten pin. Gotta let your hand roll around it if you want it to continue, baby. Come on. So what West Malott means by that is that ball hit flat, even the flat 10. Watch this ball enter the pins. Six pin goes to the sidewall and just lays there kind of dead on arrival. What Malott was referring to is he has to get his hand around the side of the bowling ball more to get it to finish harder in the back part of the lane. Spare conversion for West Malott. Come on. Extra Frame, the PBA's online video subscription service, now available as an app for your mobile device. Check out Extra Frame on your iPad, iPhone, or Android. Extra Frame features live streaming from all PBA Tour events and select PBA 50 and PBA Regional events. Don't miss any of the action. Head to PBA.com. Click on the Extra Frame banner ad for more info. That's a better shot. That's better a result. better result. Boy, and you see the way the six pin snapped the 10 out like that. Malott called it right out of his hand, and this is just beautiful pin carry and pin reaction. Anytime a right hander sees the six, six pin go to the sidewall and snap the 10 out like that, that's a great sign. Even match now. Belmo working on a strike. And he doubles up. Using a lucid, extremely aggressive piece of equipment 
And the reason for that is because of his his high rev rate. He wants the bowling ball to actually read early so that when it comes off of the end of the pattern, it's going to be much smoother. He also accompanies that by throwing it at a very high rate of speed. Belmont with nine TV finals appearances last season, eight singles, one double. Fifth year on tour. The crowd, if it's not Parker Bone the third, they love to see this two-handed bowler. The one thing about watching Jason Belmonte that's extremely impressive to me is that I think he has the highest carry percentage of any player on the tour, meaning that when his bowling ball hits the pocket, it strikes more often than anybody else on the professional bowlers tour. It's, and, and when you ask some of the players, they'll even tell you it's, it's somewhere close to the 80% range. Which has made him the scoring average leader so far in the season. As Malad answers with a strike of his own. Three in a row for Belmo, two in a row for Malad. You can see the, a little bit better go on the right lane for West Malad, but that's been the case uh, with the exception of the first match between Parker Bone the third and Mika Koivuniemi. The left lane has been the trouble lane. Left lane trouble, no more. Wes has really been the only player on the right side to figure this left lane out. The primal scream from the Texan. Primal, he's getting medieval and primal right now. He's like, hey, Belmo, let's go. Triple for Malak. Belmo working on a three back rip of his own. Can he get the kick? No. Oh! And, and just when I was talking about how great his carry was, he gets a bad break there with the messenger. But you watch the two handed styles and the two handed players. Jason Belmonte by far has the best touch of any player I've ever seen throw it with two hands. Oh. He can do lots of things to the bowling ball. He can tilt that rotation. He can throw it. He can, he can throw it fast, he can throw it straight, he can hook it. But I think the one advantage that he has over the other two-handers is he's really good at throwing it slower. So the three-bagger ends with a nine spare for Belmo. Down by one. As he moves now to the left lane. Yeah. return making a little chirping noise. He looks loose though. I mean, that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. It's a one pin match. He threw a great shot there. Looks like he's figured the pair out. Now all he has to do is make shots. The key for him is slowing down, doing the right thing. Ah, again. Doesn't get that messenger. It was on its way, got way late. Well, that, that was a little light into the pocket. Yeah. As you take a look at some other finishers, Mike Machuga had a wonderful week. And what can you say about Walter Ray Williams Jr. still getting it done? They call Janowitz uh, an amateur, but he's uh, out here a lot. He's a very good bowler. John Janowitz is a great player. Barnes finishes 14th, trying to come up. Grand Slam winner on tour, Patrick Allen, 16th, still has some magic in his bag. Stuart Williams, tour roommate, finishing mm -hmm. 16th. Nice week for Patrick. Spare for Belmo. Now, this is where the big guy needs to start imposing his will. You know, Belmonte was on three in a row. West throws three in a row to tie the match. And now it's time for West Malat to really lean on his opponent. He does like this house we mentioned led the U.S. Open before PDW won his fourth U.S. Open in this building back in 07 and Malak coming through. He is striking a lot. He's keeping his composure, not getting too excited. He's got to stay in the moment. Lots of bowling left. 36th TV finals for Malak. Most recently you saw him on the Japan Cup on ESPN earlier this season. 
Very interesting start. Watch Malat pull his thumb out of the bowling ball and insert it right back in as he gets started. Is that just to make sure he can pull it out when he gets to the line? Oh, go. Oh, no, he couldn't. You hear him? Wow. Okay. Time for a little repair. A lot for as big a guy as he is. You know, he's been known to have some rabbit ears. He hears what, knows what's going on all around him. And you just got done saying how that was so he could get his thumb out of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> how tough is that to come back after something like that happens, after you either intentionally or unintentionally balk like that? Well, it depends on who you are. Um, you know, you just have to go back through your routine again and and act like it didn't happen, but it can affect rhythm. You start getting into a good rhythm, stuff like that happens, you have to back off of the approach, your opponent starts slow playing you. I mean, that can affect rhythm. A lot of things to affect rhythm during a TV Finals. <laughs> Russ cleans up on the left lane. Okay, come on. Just keep doing a little clean. A lot up by 11 for the moment with Belmo to bowl now the bottom of the seventh. USBC Executive Director Stu Upson will see a brand new major champion take his title home today. That track the entire way. Uh, and again, I, I'm going to say it for the last time with three frames to go. This match is going to come down to who can strike on the left lane. West Malott has to finish the 10th frame on the left lane. Belmonte gets the finish on the right lane. And I think that that's a big advantage for Jason Belmonte. As the top seed in stepladder finals, Belmo is winless. Let me rephrase that. Belmonte gets the finish on the left lane. on the approach of the left lane right now. Working on a strike. A double for Belmo in search of his first major title. It's a one pin match. I think it's a big advantage to be able to finish on the right lane. Belmonte, for whatever reason, likes this lane. Remember the last time on that lane he went really light, but this time it's perfectly high flush to carry the double. Still think whoever finishes on the right lane has an advantage. I think it's more predictable between the two lanes. Malat will finish on that right lane, as you said. And here Malat on the right lane with the strike. So strikes for both in the eighth. Belmo working on a double. What a match we have here. It's been a wonderfully competed step ladder for this USBC Masters Major. And if Malot's big guns. If Malot strikes in this in this frame, I think he wins. Ninth frame for Wes Malot. Can he bring the strike? Yes, he can! What a great shot. I mean, absolute phenomenal shot. Now he gets to finish on the right lane. He knows what the right lane's doing. The hook is more predictable on that lane. This one he actually lets go of. It's cleaner off his hand. It feeds to the right, pushes just a little bit, and ends up high flush. Now Westmont will wait. What will Belbo bring to the right side? He brings them all down is what he does. Does Malat make an adjustment in the 10th frame? Does he move in just a little bit because of the rev rate of Belmonte's bowling ball going down that lane? I know he just went flush on that lane. Is he questioning whether or not he should move now to keep from going high? Belmonte can go to the sheet, go to the wall for 258. Wes Malat can strike out to shoot 259. A match worthy of a major championship.
keep the heat on. Jason Belmonte. Yeah, that's perfect. And there you see that great pin carry. That's what Revolutions and Power will get you. That 10 pin just got knocked silly by the six. Jason Belmonte, two more strikes here. He will force Wes Malott to strike out. Whatever Belmonte does in the 10th frame, Wes Malott must do to win. Second ball, 10th frame for Belmu. Saw a smile on his face. That was a key ball for him, that first of three here in the 10th. Can he strike again? Can he get the kick? Yes, he does! That is the Belmonte pin carry. This is what the two-handed style can do for you in terms of pin carry. Watch the head pin come off the sidewall and just disintegrate the 10. Remember, he can't shut out West Malott. But so far, he has forced Malott into two straight strikes when he stands up. And he's taking a re-rack, so he's going to take his time. Malott's been sitting. Boy, the look of determination on Jason Belmonte's face. Composure from Wes Malott, each looking for their first PBA major title. Two strikes in a row from Belmo. Trying to force Wes Malott to go to the wall in his 10th. Come on, Belmo! And he does it! Belmo does what he needed to do to give himself the best chance. Well, you can't throw it any better. I mean, he let go of that ball, and there wasn't a hair on his head that moved when he let go of it. Malott needs all three. I mean, watch this. For the money, you can't throw it any better. Absolutely perfect. He might not win, but that could be a breakthrough moment for Jason Belmonte. Malott needs to strike out to win by a pin. Oh, it's on me. All right, well, that wasn't us. That was on Wes. Perhaps the biggest moment of Wes Malott's career. Seven PBA titles, no majors. An opportunity here. This is what you want as a professional athlete, to have a chance to let it be on your shoulders. Well, there's no better feeling than stepping up, stepping up for a major championship and being able to have the opportunity to strike out to win. He needs to strike on every ball. And he gets it! Oh! The last millisecond. Remember what I said. Is West going to move in before he throws this ball in the 10th frame? This could be the break that gets West Malad his first major. I said that lane's probably going to break down a little bit. Maybe Wes ought to think about moving in just a pinch. He's going to move now. That trip four pin is huge, and that could spell disaster for Jason Belmonte. Now, he did say a burst of emotion sometimes gets his nerves on edge. He has to bottle that now and create the exact same moment here. Malat has to strike out. That will not do it. Wes Malat comes up short. Jason Belmonte finally earns his first PBA major. A disconsolate Wes Malat takes his leave. Jason Belmonte takes his trophy. Better add his name to the top of the list for player of the year as well Thank with Scott you, Storm, Norton. The best company in the world. Storm. Belmo has finally Everyone done it. Home. And we will hear from our newest oh, major champion when we come back.